Hey everyone, this is Crazy Uncle Joe with Dakota Joe's Outdoors. So uh, this week I, uh, I'm i down and heading towards Corpus Christi and then I got to pick up back up in Houston and go to uh, New York to fish, fish kill. So um, just uh, an update, um, my uh, subscriptions ain't going up that fast. So um, the spoons... The two spoon combos that were donated to me from high percentage uh, salmon flies um, at 250, 250 subscribers, we're going to give those away. So please help me get up to 250. Um, I just want to get to live. I, I want to feel like you guys really like me. You know, I'm just messing with you. So, um, but 250, I'm going to give the spoons away, and then. Um, I'm going to come up with something else for the 300 subscribers. Um, that's where I'm going to go with that. Um, I was thinking maybe some bearded butcher blends uh, or something like that. Order some of their stuff. I actually did order some of their stuff. And I ordered some Meet Your Maker stuff. I'll, I'll do an unboxing on that stuff when I get home. Um, but uh, here's a thought I had if anybody's willing to do it. Uh, I was thinking about... Uh, having a little Dakota Joe's get together and uh, go to a park a park or whatever, it's deer season and uh, I was going to make a big old pot of chili and just everyone hang out and associate and trade stories or whatever so if you guys think that'd be something cool to do uh, you know, leave a message and stuff in the comments if you'd be in for it, even if I only get 10, 10, or, so, 10 or so people around um, we can figure something out. I mean, I don't even care if I have it in my yard. I was going to order one of those uh, big kettles like you see those guys in Louisiana and stuff doing all their uh, Louisiana cooking and stuff in it. And uh, I was going to do a, uh, a king kettle. That's what they're called. A cast iron kettle. It's a five-gallon kettle. I'm going to do a big five-gallon pot of venison chili. So if you guys all like to get together, the ones that are close by, even if you want to take a drive, I mean... Um, but yeah, just leave a message in the comments on that. And then at 250 subscribers, we're going to give away those spoons. And I tell you what, I shared a video on my Facebook page of somebody showing what that high vis tape does. And that stuff is sharp. The, 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 the light reflection it gives off and stuff is just crazy. So if you guys ain't friends with me on Facebook, uh, Joseph Blanks, um, on Facebook, you, you can't miss the picture of me holding the fish. So go there, and I did share a video of somebody doing a, a demonstration from uh, Facebook on that. High percentage uh, trolling flies, uh, they did that too. I kind of copied it from him, gave him a shout out. But yeah, 250 subscribers, I'll give the spoons away. So you know, at least what we can do is get up 250. So it is hunting season. We'll, I will be getting some hunting videos up. All I got is a, a little short cap of uh, me seeing turkeys. That's all I've seen so far is turkeys. Dakota got a small deer deer in early rifle season. Small doe. Um, but and then we're gonna, once we get, get a deer, we're going to do a nice good processing video. Um, so, because the... Uh, you're, I just now bought a brand new meat grinder. All right, check this out. I bought an eighty-nine dollar meat grinder from uh, I think it was Dick's or Cabela's or something. That wasn't Cabela's. It was either Dick's Sporting Goods or Dunham's. I bought you know a cheap meat grinder, and it lasted me like five or six years. And the motor still runs. It just um, uh, the way I had washed it and took care of it. Uh, it just got beat up, the, the attachments and stuff. So um, I kind of gave that away. And uh, I bought me one of the meat you maker meat grinders. But uh, I processed with that $89 meat grinder five or six years. I did three or f probably five deer a year. Because Liz would get a deer, I'd get a couple deer, and Dakota would get a couple deer. And me and Dakota, we process everything together. I've been showing them what I know about processing it. And then plus I was uh, stuffing sausage and all that crazy stuff doing that. So 
Um, and we weren't gentle. We didn't cut all the tendons out or nothing like that. We just let the meat grinder chew it all up. So, I mean, I cut the glands out and stuff, but you don't got to go buy no expensive meat grinder to take care of your meat. Like, we have all our trimmings there. Now, if you have the half horsepower meat grinder, you can take all your trimmings and within 30 minutes have it all ground up. I ain't kidding you. It's You don't got to buy nothing expensive, but I did. I, I've always wanted some really nice meat grinder and stuff i'm gonna get myself one of those vac uh chamber vac sealers um but i bought me some uh, meat tubs and some bags and a taper for uh sealing up my hair meat so but anyways uh yeah let me know about the chili uh thing or you know even i, I got enough fish we can all get together and have chili fish chili ribs i don't care so, um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comments. You know, uh, give me a few subscribers if you can share it on your Facebook and stuff. Uh, but we'll have some, next time I'm home, we'll get some hunting videos up. So, but uh, peace out, everyone. T tight lines next year, but keep those uh, arrows straight and those, uh, don't just go crazy shooting with your guns and stuff, but keep your, keep your arrows straight. Peace out, guys.